Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I finally made it again to the morning message. It only took like probably about 26 days, but here I am. We didn't have a read aloud last night. We only had a, uh, uh, a replay. So I'm here. Hope you're doing well. Um, and today is Thursday. See you over here if I look at my calendar here today. My name's Violet, by the way. Violet. If you don't know, watch the uh, Facebook Live read aloud. You might not know me that well, but I'm Violet. Okay, so here. Today, this is T, Timothy Tiger. Today is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. And it's September. September. I love sounds and I love reading. It's so cool. So, September 17th. Today is Thursday, September 17th. And it's day 26. Can you believe it? Oh, man. You guys, you Kinder Rockets, are rocking, riding, reading. You guys are awesome. Keep up the good work. And with that, so happy to be here. And I'm going to go get that guy. What's his name? Just kidding. His name's Mr. C. Hehehehe. <laughs> All right, let's go get him. All right, Violet, it was so great to see you. I missed you so much in the morning. All right, and so it is Thursday. Happy Thursday, and it is day uh, 26. And so it's day 26, and here we go. First up, of course, we have our magical box. <laughs> is in our magical box. Oh, how interesting. Oh, how interesting. You're never going to guess what it is. Remember, this week, we are... I'm going to flip this around. Talking about vowels, right? Vowels. A. Your turn. A. E. I, O, U, those are our vowels, right? And these are really important to making up words, all right? They're in a lot of our words, important sounds. So, we've been thinking about our vowels, and of course, we have a vowel in there. So, I wonder which vowel it is. This is a vowel we had a little while ago. I got a clue back here that I think you're going to like. Hmm. Does anybody know what this is? Do you know what this is? And if you don't, this is called the octopod. And one of the reasons it's called the octopod is because it has eight legs. And it is after an octopus. And so here we have the octopods. But I noticed that we are missing something from the hmm from the octopod. You know what's normally in here? Well, what else would be in an octopod but octonauts, right? So, octopod. I wonder what our, whatever could be our letter of the day, letter of the day. Hey, 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 it's the letter of the day. And so, here we go again with our letter of the day. And if you were listening carefully to our letter of the day, octopus, octonaut, octopod. Here's our first word. You see what it is? Otter. Do you know what our letter of the day is yet? Hmm, I'm going to ask you later in class. Do you know what our letter of the day is here? Octonaut. Octonaut. Oh, and this has two. So, as you know... <laughs> The letter O. Yeah. Ollie Octopus says, Olive Octopus says, Oh, oh, oh. Right in here we have our O. We got our O. And this is the letter of the day. And so with our letter of the day, boys and girls, this is our game. I'm going to give you three words and you're going to listen very carefully and tell me if they have an O sound in there. So are you ready? Here we go. Our first word is the word fit. Fit. Do you hear ah, ah, ah in the word fit? Ah, 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 fit. And let's see. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. 
thumbs down. And if you said thumbs down, you are correct. There is no O in the word fit. Let's put it back this way. All right, our next word, we got two more words. Are you ready? Our next word is dot. Dot. Like, remember how we drew a dot? Uh, uh, uh. Dot. Do you hear an ah uh sound in dot? If you said ding, 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 your answer is correct. The word is dot. All right, and our final word we have is fog. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. fog. Do you hear a uh, ah, uh, ah uh in fog? Do you? Do you? Well, if you said yes, the answer is ding, 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 you are correct. There is a ah uh in fog. And of course, our letter of the day is O, and it's brought to you by Olive Octopus. Thank you so much, Olive Octopus. Okay, and so, wonderful, let's flip this around. Our letter of the day, not to be confused with the zero, right? It is just a O, and it makes the O sound. And it's just kind of like a big circle, more like maybe an oval. But we're gonna go, oh, this green marker from yesterday, it keeps sneaking in there. It doesn't want to leave us. We'd like you, green marker. Okay, so an O, right? And there we go. There's our capital O. It touches the top line, it touches the bottom line, and see the dot in the middle? That's gonna help us with our lowercase O. There's our lowercase O, and O is for ah, ah, otter. And so the letter of the day, letter of the day is O. Can't wait to hear you tell me later. And of course, now it's time for the number of the day. Now, if you were watching yesterday, yesterday the number of the day was kind of like our letter of the day, this guy. It was not an O, but it was a zero. But it looks like, looks like we do have something in here. Hmm, I'm gonna, let me kind of move this back a little bit. So give us, oops, a little bit more room. Let me just put this over here. All right, so, huh, I wonder what's in here. Let's see, oh, of course it is, of course it is. We have an octopod, but what's missing from it? Why, yes, octonauts are. And so here we got peso, one, there's peso, two, Captain Barnacle, hey, Captain Barnacle, uh, three, what is this, tweak, I think, right, tweak, then we got uh, oh, Professor Ink here is four, one, two, three, four. They're all octonauts. What? Five. Here's another Captain Barnacle. Five. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Hmm, I better make some more room for our octonaut friends. Okay. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I should put some of them here in the octopod. There we go. One in the octopod. Two in the octopod. There's three in the octopod. Okay, let's see how many more are in here. Oh, another one. Here's Quasi. Let's, Quasi looks not quite tall enough there. So let's see Quasi. There's another one. Let's take them all out and count them first. Let's see how many there are, because I think there's starting to quite a few in here. Here's another one. And finally, we got the last. Oh, so we got Shellington, right? And then we got another Professor Ink. And then Quasi. All right, so let me see here. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, oh my goodness. You know what? A an octopus has eight legs. And how many octonauts do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. Isn't that amazing? Now, here's something else I notice. Look, like these three, one, two, three. These three have these blue hats. See these blue hats? One, two, three. Hmm. Another interesting thing I noticed is there's two Captain Barnacles and there are two Professor Inks. So I have four up here. One, two, three, four. And I have four down here. So let's count on. So four up here. Five, six, seven, eight. So that's the number eight, right? Our octonauts make eight, and that makes sense because it's an octopus. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's always good to put away our toys. So let's, how many honks is that? Let's see. Are you counting? And if you counted, how many is that? Five and three is eight. Good job, Kinder Rockets. You are awesome. Remember, put away your toys. It's important. So we have the number eight, which again, we had very recently, but that's okay. Keeps you on your toes. All right, so we have eight. 
Then we have a circle and another circle. Look, it's like two O's almost. So this is O, our letter of the day, and this is eight. And with that, Kinder Rockets, thanks always for watching. If you listen to the end, here's what I want you to tell me during our meet. You know what I want you to tell me? I want you to say the secret code word. And the secret code word is Octonaut. Okay, Octonaut. I want to hear it from you. So, I'm a Kinder Rocket. I am kind. I am safe. I do my best. I'm a kind rocket. Bye-bye.